Good morning, Casey Basewood, Operations Section Chief of the Alaska Incident Management Team. This is your daily operational briefing for Thursday, November 12th on the, for the Creek Fire. And so we're, we're going through what we call a transition. Today is a, um, we have an incoming team, um, California Team 10 is uh, coming in today. And so today is what we call a shadow day. And so all their team members are shadowing our folks out there, gathering as much intel as they can. So you can see, the, um, if you're out, the, out and about, you can see um, additional folks out there. And so to, the transfer command will be tomorrow at 0700 and uh, that team will take over operations of this fire. Um, one thing that we're still tracking is the weather. And so today is going to be a repeat of yesterday, but with some additional sun, sunshine out there. And so a, a little bit more of a warming trend and drying trend. Um, there's some predicted weather potentially coming in um, in the later part of the week, but uh, we're not anticipating anything with that. Um, so with that, it's causing you know, snow melting uh, on the roads, but it's also freezing at night. And so there's still uh, um, sketchy conditions on the road, especially around the corners, um, shaded areas on the road. So if you are out there, just really keep your speeds down and keep an eye out for equipment moving uh, both up and down, um, down the hill. Um, on the fire, we still have two main portions of the fire. We have our northern part that is still uh, um, open um, and uh, not, not contained. However, we're not anticipating any growth in there. We haven't had any growth in the last couple days. Uh, we still have a, um, heat signatures showing up in all this area, especially around um, Saddle Mountain, um, Margaret Lakes, um, and then up in uh, north of Madera Peak, up in the wilderness, up in um, the northwest corner. Um, so it's just, uh, you know, if you think about it as a hundred or so little campfires that are showing up in there, they're not growing. Um, they still may put up a little bit of smoke, but nothing of, of concern or major amount of smoke. Um, and then uh, for the suppression repair, we're going to, well, we're starting to move equipment in into more spots as the roads are clearing up and the ground is melting and uh, continuing to do work. Some chipping, hazard tree removal, still a lot of hazard trees out there to remove. Um, some uh, suppression repair along the roads um, and some grinding of some stumps and clearing of culverts and all that stuff. So we're, still can, we're starting to do more and more as it uh, continues to melt and improve road conditions out there. So we've got about 75% of the suppression repair completed. Um, and then the incoming team is going to continue with that path with the resources that we have. Um, we have uh, started a, a, a accelerated type of demo. Uh, um, so we went from about 900 folks and now we're down to about 480. Um, looking at uh, by the end of the week to be around 300 um, folks. And so that's uh, scaling down mainly because a lot of this work on the west side is going to be complete. Um, and there's some areas up in here um, around sample meadows that uh, we might not be able to get into. Um, this year, but to some of this lower um, southerly stuff around Huntington Lake and Shaver Lake is starting to open up. Dinky Road, um, we're going to start doing some work today down in there, and so um, it's continuing to find spots out there. Um, and there is a, a around a Shaver Lake, Cal Fire is going to be doing some power burn out there, so you see a little bit of smoke out there um, with, with Cal Fire out, out in there. With that, have a great safe day. Thanks for all your cooperation. You're going to see another face up here tomorrow with uh, California Team 10 that will be coming in. Um, heading back to Alaska and got to shovel some snow. So with that again, thanks for everything. Have a great safe day out there.